You're watching News 3 HD this morning. Thanksgiving is just a few days away, so if you're in charge of this year's meal, mm -hmm. pay attention. Donna Weihoffen now for 20 years has been mm -hmm. doing this every other week before, the Monday before Thanksgiving, where you come in and you do the whole... I the know. whole nine yards here, which can be done ahead of time, which you I like to I should be good at it by this out. time, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody has their own way of doing turkey, mm -hmm. and I don't want to interfere with if you've yeah. got your favorite way. But really, it can be so simple. So for first-time people, mm -hmm. make sure it's thawing in the refrigerator. It takes one day for every five pounds to thaw out, so it's got to be thawing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, and when you're ready to take, take it out of the bag and work in the sink. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so everything's contained in the sink. Wash it off, <clears throat> and then put it in a roasting pan. And all you have to do, I use a little bit of oil, and I just put oil on the outside, mm -hmm. and sprinkle it with Lori seasoning, salt, a little paprika, and pepper. That's all. Just three. Just basic. <clears throat> those three things. And put it in the pan. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, it takes about, oh, 20 minutes a pound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't stuff it anymore. Uh, that's really kind of out to stuff because mm -hmm. it's really dangerous because mm -hmm. it doesn't really get cooked in the middle. And so bake it till it's beautiful, till it's 180 in the thigh. What okay. about basting? Remember people used to have baste? Oh, you gotta baste yeah. the turkey. I have to baste Not it. There's really? no basting involved. But what I do do, well, the, I bake it with this mm -hmm. little tent, just okay. that much of a tent on there. And then at the last half hour, take the tent off. And, and, if, you it all and if you have to turn off the oven to 400 degrees at the very end, just to brown the breast, mm -hmm. then it's brown. You have a beautiful turkey. It is really so simple. And I do have turkey tip sheet on okay. the website. Okay. So it's all written out. And it also tells you how to make gravy. Oh, by the way, mm. this is the juice. I want to show you this. You pour the juice into a container like this, and you can see how much fat is on the top. Yeah. So you don't want that. And then you no. can have a fat-free gravy. I love this gravy separator because the holes on the bottom, you go like this. Oh, Donna. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and there is the fat on the top, and you'll oh, never and have you one, <clears throat> not one bit of fat. That's the way to do it. That is really good. All I right. found that at Orange Tree. Okay, I have a couple side dishes. Mm -hmm. These can all be made ahead of time. My famous make-ahead mashed potatoes, mm -hmm. which are made with fat, low-fat sour cream and cream Always cheese. Always count on that. Yep. And then I have um, a squash dish over here. And if you want to make your squash, you can do it you know, by hand, by mm -hmm. just peeling and smashing. You can mm -hmm. do it. But you can also just buy this box, you know, buy mashed squash, oh, yeah. and it's seasoned with a little maple syrup. That's all you need. And a touch of butter and salt and pepper, and that's all. And probably saving syrup. tons of time. Tons oh, of yeah. time. Because yeah, squash, <laughs> cooking squash I know, forever. I know, I yeah. know. It's mm -hmm. just super easy. This salad I made, and I made this last night so I can show you that you can make it ahead of time. It's a Waldorf salad, but it's a, it has raspberries in it, so it dresses it up. It makes it absolutely beautiful with pecans. Mm -hmm. But my salad is not the mayonnaise-type salad dressing. Okay. It's made out of sugar-free apricot preserves and yogurt and a touch of yep, nutmeg. And that's all. So it looks like this. You put it on the salad. No mayonnaise at all. So all of these can be made ahead of time. And you, don't, you can just relax. And what should this read, the table <laughs> read again? In the thigh, 180. 180. The breast, okay. like 160. But use a thermometer. The worst thing that can ever happen to you is mm -hmm. you come to the table, bring the turkey, and it's not done. Now, you know that there are some turkeys that have the pop-up mm -hmm. thermometer. Do, do you trust those? No. Okay. So put a thermometer in besides. Do not trust it. Okay. Because something could happen. Really use your own thermometer. But it happened to me one Thanksgiving where I, everything's on the table. Brought the turkey to the table. Mm -hmm. No. Done. Yeah, one year oh. my thermometer never popped, and it was it was beyond <clears throat> done. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Works. Okay, yeah, like yeah, any yeah. time you want to pop. <laughs> no, I'll use the thermometer. So that's okay. Your, yeah. All right. Happy Thanksgiving. Same Happy to Thanksgiving you. to you, Donna. Thank you. All right, you can find Donna's recipes on channel3000.com. Look under the At Home tab and click on Food and Recipes, and there you'll find Donna's recipes from today, and of course an archive of past recipes she's made on our show.